Yo guys, what is up? Jimmy G here, bringing you guys Team of the Season Serie A objectives, or um, not objectives, Team of the Season player predictions, um, with included SBC players in here, as well as objectives in, in this prediction. Actually seems like a really, really, really great squad. Um, I think it's a little bit more, um, our predictions are a little bit more towards the midfielders than they are really towards the wingers. So there is opportunity there. Um, but let's just go ahead and start off with the goalkeeper, the Polish goalkeeper, Szczesny, um, who had a really great season. Um, he's been playing very, very, very well. Um, he was the top, he has the highest match rating amongst all goalkeepers. Um, so he's killing the game. And I believe he has one of the most clean sheets or one of the most saves um, in the in the Serie A. Um, so we believe he has to be in there. Um, and with that, with the strong link, we have Delict. Delict also is one of the top um highest match rating averages um, along the center backs. That's kind of how we did it. We did a little bit of art and a little bit of science with creating these predictions. Um, so we definitely think Delict as well as The Verge uh, will be getting team of the seasons. Hopefully they get a little bit more of a boost pace. Um, Delict will probably be matched with his team of the year card, very similar to how Dijon was, uh, very similar to how Messi was. Um, so I definitely think we'll be seeing Delict in there as well as The Verge. Um, hopefully Diverge also gets a little physical boost. I think uh, his physical is a little low right now, so we'll see. Also Kolarov. Kolarov, just in FIFA, um, naturally has had a phenomenal season. Um, we know EA likes to do a little bit of some of the realistic ratings, um, IRL ratings, but also a little bit of which players have done really well in FIFA. Um, and so Kolarov is one of them. I think he has two or three uh, Team of the Weeks. He was very popular in the beginning of FIFA, but then eventually over died down. Um, but we definitely think this um, this player deserves one, not only from, I guess, a FIFA community standpoint, but as well as um, he's just been killing it as well for, for Roma. We also have Malinkovic Savage. Um, we, he's definitely a savage. Um, hopefully he gets a little bit more than a, a pace boost to match the other midfielders like Cruz did. Um, boost his acceleration or something. Um, but we definitely think he's going to get one as well. He's had a phenomenal season, one of the higher ratings amongst the midfielders out there. Um, he wasn't very popular in FIFA this year, so we threw him in there, more of the science. Um, also, people really like the metas, um, the, the nine golems that you see right above me, um, and all of that. And so we also have Luis Alberto, who did have a headliner as well. Um, he did have a couple team of the team of the weeks based off of his IRL performances. Overall, really great up there amongst the uh, the match ratings, which I'll show you guys here in a second as well of what I mean by that. We also have Dybala. Dybala also has a very, really, really great, phenomenal season. Um, he was also up there in the higher match ratings as well, but he's also a fan favorite. Everyone really enjoys Dybala. He gets a team of the season every year, whether or not I. Feel like he has a good season or not um, typically he's always had great seasons though um, so again he's just a fan favorite he's probably gonna get one and so we threw him in here as well more of the art side Gomez um, really really great season as well along with Illicit Illicit actually averages the highest match rating amongst any Serie A player um, and Gomez follows that um, as, as, a, as a midfielder for Atalanta he also he had that SBC card but um, but he also had a few team of the weeks as well Lukaku in here. Um, yeah, he's had a really great season so far for Inter, man. He's, he's scored a few goals um, off the bat. Um, came in hot. Hopefully they boost his dribbling a little bit. Give him more of that video game feel than that IRL feel, if you know what I mean. Um, and then lastly, um, Immobile. Immobile has just been destroying teams left and right, killing the game, scoring goals. Um, he's had multiple, multiple team of the team of the weeks. He's had multiple man of the matches. Um, and so this card definitely, undeniably deserves one as well. Um, it'd be awesome if he had an 85 passing. Um, of course, all these ratings are predictions. Um, but hopefully he's able to, you know, have a, a somewhat of a meta card, not like Lewandowski, but somewhat, somewhat similar like Lewandowski. Um, so these are the starting 11 we're thinking about. And a lot of you guys may ask, where's Ronaldo? Ronaldo needs to get one. Well, he does. And honestly, what we're thinking, and it would be really, really cool, this is a pipe dream, is that Ronaldo will get an SBC. Mbappe, and not Mbappe, Neymar has had an SBC. Messi has had an SBC. 
Um, and then we're thinking Ronaldo could potentially get a flashback SPC. Uh, it'd be super sick if he had one. I think a lot of people would, would uh, pick him up. I would love that. It'd be kind of like an icon SPC that we've been missing out on all year. And it'd just be awesome. It'd be awesome to have an SPC like this. I personally think so. So with the, something you're able to grind towards for the rest of the for the rest of the year, have something like this. I know a lot of people would probably just want them in packs so they could try to pack them and stuff. Me personally, again, I would love to throw some of my fodders um, that I have in my club into a Ronaldo SBC, an Icon SBC, essentially. Hopefully it's not super um, crazy amount. Um, it probably would be above the EA standards of what they're trying to price SBCs, but it would be super, super sick if they had it though. So that's my um, there's also SP other SPCs here that we'll touch on here in a little bit. Let's go back to the players. Um, next up, we do have, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Strakosha. Um, also a really great season um, for, for Lazio. Um, the second best uh, goalkeeper out there um, in terms of match rating. Then we have Smoldini and Acerbi. These uh, also were one of the top center backs out there that had a really great season. Um, I don't know if Smolding small smolding smalling went to the Serie A either in january or the start of this year i forget honestly um either way though i think it was in january so either way it'd be really interesting if they did include him i know he did also come in hot scoring a couple goals he did have a team of the week but then missed out on a team of the week as well um which i remember clearly so he had he's had, had multiple chances as well i said i think he was he's just been a tank all year nothing crazy uh, Quadrado coming in as a right back. We don't think he's going to be getting a right wing, but more of a right back. Five star skill right back. I think it'd be good for the Serie A to get one of these cards um, in there. Younger brother Theo Hernandez has had also multiple team of the weeks um, in there. He, this was a really great card for me when his first team of the week came out. I l enjoyed playing with this card so much. I'm excited for this. I think his strength is a little bit low or his defensive awareness was a little bit low as a stat, but really great pace. Or actually, his strength was really good. It was uh, defensive awareness and another stat, which was fairly important. But his pace was able to bring him back and make those tackles. Brozovic has also had a really great season. Multiple team of the weeks. Um, I think he was a little bit of a fan favorite at the start of FIFA, just like Kolarov. And then we have the man, the original 2.0. Nangolin, um, uh, Raja Nangolin, uh, original 2.0 Holit here, um, 88 pace, 94 shooting, 92 stats. Hopefully he gets a 90 pace just so he could just be like a, a KDB. Um, the man had, uh, he transferred this uh, amazing story for honestly Raja Nangolin, transferred this uh, the summer uh, to Calegri because his wife had uh, was very ill um, and then he came in there and was balling for the team. Um, scored multiple goals, had multiple team of the weeks as a right winger, as a cam, as a center mid. Um, so it's just going to be amazing to see him to get a team of the week, team of the season. And he's going to be a really fun card to play with, especially if you're rocking a Serie A team. Um, the last few here, um, I'll go ahead and minimize um, my face cam for y'all. Is we have João Pedro Cap Caputo, um, Pellegrini, Gossens, uh, Berardi. Um, these five guys right here, Gossens and Berardi. Berardi was the best, um, aside from uh, uh, Ronaldo, got a high uh, mat overall match rating average as a, as a forward, as a right ringer, as well as Gossens. Pellegrini also has been doing really well as a midfielder, João Pedro and Caputo. So those are some of the fodders that we included in here that EA always loves to include. Um, so it's going to be a GG's. Um, if you pack one of them but let's go into the SBC players which I think are gonna be really really great players um, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to have um, so I showed you guys Ronaldo hopefully we get him I honestly would really really enjoy it let me know if you guys would love that concept as well um, we got Fabian Fabian has been um, always a little bit he's always been present within FIFA the last few FIFAs I think he's gonna get one as well he has a strong link to um, Calajon. I don't know if Calajon has had any special cards, but that's why he would typically be a popular one in here as well. But um, he is Spanish. So there's a lot of Spanish team of the seasons out there, so I wouldn't be surprised if they threw him in there for that Spanish link. Uh, but we could see a potential here for Fabian. Also, he's done very well this year, um, so we could see that. Next up, we have Eric Pulgar. Um, however you pronounce his name, Pulgardo. 
Um, another potential fodder, low budget. If some of you guys like them, great. Some of you guys don't. That's totally fine. Um, but, you know, if, if you guys are um, a, a fan of that, you know, you can pick them up, get them out. Um, I think one of the persons we probably are missing is potentially a flashback ribbery. Um, that'd be super sick as well. Um, and then lastly, an objective player, which is Zapata, um, who's ha had a decent season. You know, nothing too crazy, but, you know, a potential uh, SPC player here. Uh, or objectives player here, Mr. Zapata. I just watched for the first time that goal, goal, goal video um, was way rapid. Pretty sick video, to be honest. But yeah, guys, uh, this is what we're thinking. Um, let us know who you guys think. And by me, uh, us, um, also included Shadow, Shadow FIFA here um, in collaboration with the predictions with him. Give us both a follow. Both of our links are down below uh, for Twitter. I stream on Twitch um, pretty consistently. So give me a follow on there if you guys want to talk about some of the predictions. Uh, but let me know what you guys think on who we missed, who we missed out. Um, and that's it, guys. Jimmy G23 is out. Peace.